Welcome, YouTube. This is Acid Roots. We're going to talk about Paul Wall's second album, uh, Get Money, Stay True. So, the thing to know about this project is Paul Wall was riding on a high with his 2005 album, The People's Champ, and it kind of put him in a particular place because he was on a series of hit songs between 2005 and about mid-2006, so he was on Grills, for one thing, which was a large song. Not sure how, how it stands up today, but back then it was big. Grills. Also, Sitting Sideways and Girl were three songs that just happened to really do well. Now, the thing about these charting songs is Paul Wall is not a rapper who's going to hit 20 on the Billboard Hot 100 or 15 or even 40. He's kind of further up the charts. You know, you'll find him at like 65 out of 100, 72 out of 100, 78 out of 100, somewhere around there, which that's the Billboard Hot 100 charts in America. So what that means, I find that that type spot charting the fact that you still chart is good but it's not to where every single person's going to hear the song which is kind of reserved for like the top 25 so this is more you know people who like rap are gonna know once again but i don't see it crossing into a gigantic mainstream so realizing that this album kind of became you know, Paul Wall was either going to expand and become a bigger name on his second album or he was going to become a lesser name. And this one, he didn't lose the quality of his work and this isn't a shitty album, but it did signal him becoming an underground rapper. So obviously there's no problem with that. I mean, there's a lot of underground rappers and albums that are loads better than some of the stuff that cracks mainstream and you hear every day on the radio, be it 2005, 2010, or 2016. This doesn't really matter. So with that, the couple singles that came from this project were Get Throwed and Break Em Off. Now people liked Break Em Off more than Get Throwed, but I'm kind of the other way around. Both of these were songs that were released and I think have videos for them. So they show Paul Wall and so to, to describe the way he approaches some of these songs, he actually has a good vocabulary. So that's the thing, you get some stuff. He talks differently than someone like Snoop Dogg does, but you just have to pay attention to how he says it because He's clever. That's the thing to know is that Paul Wall is clever. Like he'll say something like, I'm as fresh as green bananas, you know, these type things. And, you know, you just have to look for that sort of stuff. So that's one thing to know between those two songs. There was actually seven songs I appreciated out of 14. And, you know, the first thing to realize is there may not be a song as immediately infectious as Sitting Sideways, but the beats on this album are pretty dank. So, trying to think of what else. Yeah, I mean, the guests also help, you know, add flavor to this. Trina really works on here. Snoop Dogg does. Lil Kiki does. So... That's what we're looking at. But alright, I'm going to list the songs that you need to hear. So, the seven songs are Everybody Know Me, Break Em Off, I'm Throwed, Call Me What You Want, That Fire, Give Me That, and Hard To Find. I Ain't Hard To Find. So yeah. So I'm going to talk about a few of these. The first several songs on this project are pretty immediate, so you get... The best point of Paul Wall, the singles are up front and it lets you find some more. But, you know, I've noticed and I've known that Paul Wall can make album cuts, so there actually is some extra stuff. And I think, 
he's kind of like Tech Nine. He's good at making some of those songs that, even though there's no chance of ever hearing this on the radio, there's still a pretty good chance that you'll like this song. So he's one of those folks. You know, you listen to, you go on a car trip, you hear him, you play him, I'll play him on a playlist, and, you know, you've got few, several of his songs that it makes for good times. So this album is going to get a 6.5 out of 10, and I'm going to give it a 4, a, a 5 social, which means how well it plays around your friends. Five Social, there were only two singles, and they're just not as immediate as the People's Champ singles were. So that, that, that might be aggravating, but the thing that's better is, is these songs are probably better than the People's Champ. I remember complaining that it just tried to be too commercial. This type sound fits Paul Wall like a glove. So that's really the thing. Get Between getting this and Heart of a Champion, you know, you've got some good stuff. So, the future, Paul Wall has dropped music, he's dropped mixtapes, he's done a lot of stuff. And, can this record be topped? I think it can. It's about middle of the road, but the songs are so good, it's better than average. So that's the thing to know.